Hello again, it's Kat from Miss Kit's Delicious Bits and I'm just going to be showing you quickly how to take these rollers out and make something um, a really pretty style with the curls that you've got in. So first of all we'll go ahead and take this one out. Okay, now I've still got them in. They've been in about one and a half hours so they may not be crazy curly. You can see they do have a little bit of a kink in them. My hair is fairly annoying like that because it doesn't really generally do what you want it to and a good tip um, for using these rollers is just before you take them out use a hairdryer over the top of your do-rag and that will just heat them up so that they um, f you know set a bit quicker so we'll go ahead and take the other ones out And then sometimes they get stuck, so you just need to sort of help them out. And you can see that's a nice little curl there as well. And I usually spray them before and after taking them out. If you wanted really, really defined curls, you're probably best to go with hot rollers. I've got my mum's Carmen set um, from the 70s or 80s or whatever. Um, you can use those, they're really good. Or you can even use just a curling iron um, or a straightening set. Okay, I'll take that back one out. And that one gives you a nice bit of lift just up in that crown section. And like I said, once, once you finish, you can go through and, and just fluff any bits up. Now this front one, we can do whatever we want with the back bit. I might just clip that out of the way for the moment and I'll show you what we can do with that front part. <clears throat> okay, so this front one I've just taken the bobby pin out and we'll just really carefully with this one, because this is our feature roll, really carefully take that out and you can see it's, it's kept a bit of shape. Because my hair was dry and it wasn't it wasn't heated and I didn't put the hair dryer on it. They're not particularly curly, but you can see, I'll go up there, how this is gonna happen. And because we sprayed it before, it's kept its form quite well. It doesn't matter so much about the curl. Now, if you curl that under, and this is as easy as it is, curl that under and just continue to roll. until it's just just there. Now I do like to roll that back bit under a little bit more if you can fathom it. Okay, now using your bobby pins again, just go through and pin that one from the bottom and it'll probably stay there just from that one. Um, I don't trust bobby pins entirely so We'll go ahead and put another couple in. And then you can fix the shape when you're ready. I don't know if you can see it there. I don't have my light on in here because it's attached to a fan and it would be quite loud and not good for video making. But you can see there the shape of it and it comes around here and curls under and you can poke your finger all the way through it with no trouble. Oh yeah, you can see there. <laughs> okay, so there's that front one done and that's, that's as easy as it is. Now with the sides you can do the same thing. This side, I'm going to take the same section that I used for the roller and I'm going to curl it up this time. Because once you curl it, it'll bend pretty much any direction. And just rolling that, you can see I've got it there. Just rolling that upwards. If you can do the roller in that way to start with, and it'll make it easier for you. I just like rolling it um, downwards to start because it does give you a bit of lift at the root. 
Oh, and as usual, bobby pins are evading me. They always get lost. Okay, so there's that second little roll. If you can see, you can poke your finger through that one as well. But I have closed it off at the back. Now you do that with the other side. With the same part that you used for the actual roller. And if it doesn't work, start again. That's my golden rule. Don't be scared. Because it's not scary. Oops, there goes another one. Okay, so then we've got our two. Those ones are quite symmetrical. This one goes off to the side, so that gives you a bit of that. And then you can leave the back out for, a, you know, curly, um, which looks quite nice. It's a 40s and 50s look. Um, victory rolls. Fairly old, they would have existed before the 50s. Um, or you can do it into a ponytail, or you can also do it into a French roll. I'll just show you. Now, yeah, I usually just do it and then roll it like that, and then pin it in there. I'm not sure if you can. Hello, <laughs> see, but there is a bit of a roll there. Um, I usually like to leave it out because, like I said, I'm growing my hair and I. I showcase that. Um, okay, so there's a quick 40s or 50s pin up hairstyle. Um, thanks for watching, and I've got lipstick on the teeth. Excellent. Okay, so um, stay tuned, and this afternoon I'll show you this ombre look, uh, especially for Jay because she's requested it. Okay, so there's my 50s hairstyle, and lipstick on my teeth again. Thanks for watching. Bye.